Charlie Yaxley is the global spokesperson for the UN High Commissioner for Refugees, and he joins us now live from Geneva. Thanks so much for speaking to us. How did such vulnerable people in Libya end up in the path of an airstrike? Well, this is a despicable tragedy that n never should have happened. Uh, around two months ago, UNHCR called for the detainees into Jura Detention Centre to be evacuated after a similar airstrike landed on the roof and injured two people, uh, but no action was taken. Uh, and, and today, we know at least 40 people uh, have paid the, the price of that. Uh, with their lives. Uh, what needs to happen now is a shift in approach. We cannot continue with the status quo where we have thousands of refugees inside detention centres at risk of being caught up in these clashes. Uh, they need to be immediately released from these detention centres. States need to come forward to help us evacuate refugees out of Libya. Uh, but we also need a new approach to the Mediterranean situation. We cannot have any refugees or migrants being returned to Libya where, as we saw last night, they may potentially face their death in, in detention centres. Right. So how do you formulate and enforce a new approach? What exactly should it be? Well, I think it's important as well that we flag that the coordinates of this detention center last night, the location and the fact that people were in there were well known to all sides to, to this conflict. Uh, so this detention center was, was struck uh, with that knowledge being held. Uh, and that constitutes, because targeting civilian infrastructure like that constitutes a violation of international humanitarian law. So there has to be consequences for this. Uh, there needs to be a full and thorough investigation now. It needs to be identified which individuals are responsible for this, uh, and they need to be held to account. Okay. But, I mean, some of these migrants, as you said, as you heard, rather, were already on their way to Europe when they were turned back to Libya. What does that say, then, about the EU migration policy and the course that you feel needs to change to protect innocent people? Uh, there's no question now that, that, that there must be a shift. Already for many months, uh, refugees who, let's remember, have fled war, violence and persecution uh, were being held in dire conditions in detention centres. There were uh, widespread reports of human rights violations, uh, reports of insufficient food and water being provided to them, some being uh, unable to access uh, the health care that they needed. Uh, and that's been made all the worse since April uh, when violent clashes have engulfed Tripoli. Uh, you know, this is now a very different question that we're talking about when people rescued on the Mediterranean are brought back to these detention centres. They're being put directly in harm's way. Uh, and what we need now is for Mediterranean states uh, and states in Europe uh, to come together uh, and to agree to come to the assistance of people fleeing war and violence uh, and to allow boats to, to rescue passengers, to allow them to dock and to develop a model that shares the responsibility for hosting them afterwards. In general, though, I mean, isn't it a huge challenge uh, to protect, you know, innocent people who are being held in a country where there is also violent conflict? Does protecting them also put other innocent workers uh, at risk? I mean, humanitarian agencies are facing uh, grave dangers in order to be able to provide assistance to people inside the detention centres. I mean, right now, uh, Tripoli is not safe for, for Libyans, let alone vulnerable refugees, many of whom have suffered the deep psychological traumas because of the abuses they've suffered at the hands of smugglers and traffickers on their way to Libya and inside Libya. We need to refocus the approach to this now as a humanitarian issue. Uh, we need to move away from this situation we have currently where the European debate around the refugee situation has become toxic uh, and used as a political trophy and needs to be seen as it is for a humanitarian issue with saving lives at its core. Okay. Charlie Yaxley, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us.
from Geneva. We greatly appreciate it.